For this problem, we'll solve the equation by factoring x to the second minus 3x minus 4. So we're looking for two parentheses that when we multiply them together, we get x to the second minus 3x minus 4. Let's do this in two parts. First, we look at the term with the variable squared and ask ourselves, what times what would give me x to the second? That would have to be x and x. Notice that I put them in the first position of each of the parentheses. Now look at the last term, the term without the variable, negative four. We need two numbers that will multiply to give me negative four. But we also must consider that they must add to give me negative three. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative four, but adds to negative three. This would have to be negative four and one, because negative four times one would give me negative four, but negative four plus one would give me negative three. So I'm gonna put these in my parentheses. The negative four I'll put as minus four, and the positive one I'll put as plus one. Now we've successfully factored this expression. We're ready to do the solving part. We're gonna take each of our parentheses and set them equal to zero. So I'm gonna take the x minus four that I had in parentheses, and I'm gonna set it equal to zero. Then I'm gonna take the x plus one that I had in the second parentheses and set it equal to zero. Now we solve these equations. x minus four, we do the opposite of the minus four, by adding four to both sides. That leaves me with x equals four. x plus one, we do the opposite of plus one, which is to subtract one from both sides. And that leaves me with x equals negative one. So my solutions here are x equals four and negative one.